Hi, Diane. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. We're with Diane Wills. Is it Wiles or Wills? Diane Wiles. It is Wiles. See, I, thought, I had it for a while, then I lost it. Now it's back again. And you are with? First Coast Number no Almost Pets. All right. And you and I, uh, actually the radio station and your event have coming together next week. But we're here at the Home and Patio Show today. Tell us a little bit about what you got going on here. Well, today we're having our spooky dog breed, um, adoptable dogs from Animal Care Protective Services. They're homeless animals looking for their forever homes. So we're going to dress them up in costumes and parade them around out in the car courtyard. Hopefully they'll find homes today. Oh, that sounds like a video moment. Maybe we should uh, relocate and get some video of the let's dogs here. Let's go outside here. and meet them. All right, let's do that. All right. Okay, so we're uh, just outside the main exhibit hall now. And Diane, you have a couple of friends here. Tell us about yeah, these two. Yeah, our good friends, uh, Neutered Nate and Spade Susie are here helping us promote the dog parade. Now, what's your, what's your saying? Neuter and spay, it's not sexy. It's Spay and neuter, it's not sexy, it's the solution. It's not sexy, it's the solution. Yep. They look like they're fine to me. Yeah. All right. They're having a good time today. I told them I thought I was hot, but you know what? It's gorgeous today. It is. It is. All right, let's go see some some dogs in Halloween costumes. Absolutely. Oh, I got, I got some. Now, now who is this? This is Blueberry. Blueberry. He's got a blue tongue. Oh, does he really? Yeah. Has he got some chow in him or what? Yeah. I have a lab chow mix, so uh, well, we have spots. Hi. Some of his uh, peas fell off. <laughs> uh oh. So you're only a pea pod. Not peas. Oh, that's what he is, a pea pot. Yeah, he has these two, but... Oh, oh there you go. That's cute. I had, he did the, yeah, I had him like that before, but he just kind of shook it off. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. Can I make an off-collar <laughs> joke? That would be like dog pee. <laughs> oh, I get dog it. Okay. Yeah, he goes up to everyone doing this. He's just a love He knows house. what he's trying to do. He got to go home today house. with somebody. That's how you do it, boy. How could somebody not take you home today? Oh, no. God. I could get in so much trouble. Oh, me too. I could just take you home and you'd fit right in. You'll be taking home. He'd fit right in with your dachshund. <laughs> He'd fit in oh, with both my dogs. Where's little fairy? I found him. This is Rascal? This is Rascal. You know, is Rascal a Boston? A Boston mix. Boston mix. My brother used to have Bostons. That's, that's the only reason I knew that. Yeah, you can tell. They're little What's y'all doing? We got a little light issue here. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can get his hat on. Yeah, it's hard because his little head's so small. <laughs> oh, look how spooky. Oh, uh, very nice. Very scary. Yeah. Oh, I'm a bat. Somebody said I was a dinosaur. <laughs> So let's talk Dogtoberfest. It's coming up on Saturday, right? Um, yep, October 8th. I think a lot of people know about Dogtoberfest, but in case they don't, uh, kind of catch us up on how it works and what it's all about. Well, Dogtoberfest is um, First Coast No More Homeless Pets' uh, largest fundraiser of the year. Um, it's a large outdoor pet event at Metropolitan Park downtown right across from the stadium. And it's a fundraising walk um, to raise money to save lives, and um, people can register online or register the day of. Um, get their goodie bag and go on the trick-or-treat walk. All our sponsors will have uh, freebies and goodies to give out along the walk. It's a short walk, about 15 minutes. And then uh, the festivities will start on the field. We'll have a band and the JSO canine dogs will be out there, as well as the fly ball dogs. And, of course, the featured event, the costume contest with great prizes. Now, how does the actual fundraising work? Let's say I'm a guy, which I am. <laughs> <laughs> and I have some dogs, which I do. I want to help out. What's the best way for me to go about it? I can sign up online. Then what happens? Um, you can sign up online. All the information is at um, www.dogtoberfest.org. <laughs> we ask that people register in advance. That's the best way to do it. It is a $25 registration donation um, that helps um, run our vital programs. And then um, you can actually fundraise online as well. And it's still not too late to do that. Um, or you can simply register the day of. Registration will start at 10 o'clock, um, and uh, that'll give you your um, goodie bag. And uh, depending on how much you raise, if you raise over $100, you get a T-shirt, and there's different levels. You get more goodies the more money you raise. But it is a free event to everybody, but we do ask for donations at the door. Tell us a little bit more about First Coast No More Homeless Pets and how you guys work, the kind of work you do. First Coast No More Homeless Pets are... Um, uh, vital programs are high volume uh, spay and neuter programs for low income individuals and of course the programs are open to everybody it's low cost for everybody but we have free programs for 
um, low-income individuals, and um, those are our pilot programs. But we also um, have other programs, and all of our programs are um, geared to keeping um, pets out of the shelters and lower the euthanasia rate. We have our pet food bank for low-income um, families, and we um, are now starting our Mandarin Adoption Center, uh, which will have our grand opening on October 15th. Um, and it will not be a shelter, it'll be an adoption center. We'll be pulling all the animals from Animal Care and Protective Services, which is our kill shelter here in town. Very nice. That's great work. I am such a big dog lover, so yeah, it's good so to hear that stuff. Yep, now, wanna... we're going to be out there with you guys, and I know that, you know, you you have uh, the, the doggies always like treats. Um, but you have some perks, too, for people that are doing the bigger fundraising things. You have some nice prizes. Absolutely. Top fundraiser runs a Bahama cruise on Royal Caribbean for two. Wow. Um, either whether you're with a team or you're an individual fundraiser, um, the individual top fundraiser will win that cruise. Um, and we also have um, two other great prizes as well, and uh, prizes for the costume contest as well. Make sure that you uh, get yourself, you can do a day of, but it really is better to go online and register in advance, like you said, right? Absolutely. I'll expedite you coming in through the door, and um, you'll get all the perks and everything. When would the cutoff time be for that, seeing as how the event is on Saturday? Usually the day before on the 7th by noon. Dogtoberfest. It's always a lot of fun, too. It is. It's a great day. It's great socialization for your um, your and uh, hopefully we'll have great weather and it's just a great day for the animals. And also remember when you come, clean up after your pet. Absolutely. We'll have poop bags all over the place. <laughs> Sounds like a necessary evil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, so- Diane, thank you so much. We're glad to be a part of it this year and it sounds like it'll be a great time and hopefully we can we can do some good with the way things have been going the last few years. People need every bit of help they can get and certainly the pups do too. Absolutely. We've made great progress, but we've got a long way to go, so we need everybody's help. And JT, thank you so much for your support, and uh, we'll see you at Dogtoberfest.